Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Robin, this is Digital Wilds, and welcome to El Hijo, a Wild West tale. Uh, with my rudimentary knowledge of Spanish, I think El Hijo means the sun. Uh, and this is a stealth game uh, by Honig Studios, who I um, have been following on Twitter for a while. They make some really beautiful looking uh, isometric games and uh, stuff with a really unique art style. And I'm, uh, if any of you follow my art online and my illustrations, you'll know that I'm extremely into Americana and uh, the Southwest American kind of aesthetic and the, the whole Hispanic inspired architecture and that kind of thing. So, um, with that in mind, uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is our protagonist. We've got ourselves a uh, cell shaded Zelda style kind of aesthetic. Um, okay, so I guess our job is to go and see our mother, although first I'm going to chase these chickens. Ah, so this is teaching me about like alertness cones and um, spooking enemies. Got it. Okay, that's actually quite handy. Uh, presumably I can't cross this bridge. Okay, so we'll go and get on with the actual job. I don't know if I have a run command because I do move rather slowly. Ah, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Just in time. Okay, so it shows that I'm making sounds that enemies can hear when I run along like that. Got it. Oh dear. And someone's grave. Is this our dad's? Hey. <laughs> I presume we're going for a dialogue free approach then. Okay, so we've got vision cones on these, uh... Okay, so by pausing my movement, I can fire up this bird into the air. That'll show vision cones and um, give me a wider bird's eye view of the area. Got it. So, my job now is to sort of sneak around these guys. That makes sense. I realise now this is a bucket on top of some kind of uh, leather thing, but it actually just looked like an enormous hat. Ah, okay. So got to stay in the shadows. Next up, looks like I can crouch to sort of sneak past vision cones if I'm in shadow. Got it. And I can sort of wall hug. That's uh, sensible. Beautiful sort of hand-drawn style animations here. Really a big fan of this. Not a big fan of what's happening to our hero, mind. I love this whole aesthetic of the uh yeah the adobe buildings built into the side of the mountain. Okay, so I guess this is going to be our first level. So, our mum's been captured by bandits and I guess our task is going to be to rescue her. Although you're a rather talented artist, kid, so maybe you should uh take that up as a career and uh you know, you'll have a happier time. A lot of candles in here. This will get very warm, especially if it's in the desert. Oh. 
Ah, okay, so I'm not supposed to be getting caught by the old men. That makes some sense. Although it is, um... It does seem rather arbitrary that I'm not allowed to move around. So these blue sparkly points on the ground are save points. And there's kind of an autosave system going on, which I find rather handy. So, let's sneak around these monks. Who all look like Hagrid from the Harry Potter canon. I think that's just the brown robes. I'm not very good at stealth games, but this is a rather mild one by the uh, standards of more uh, hardcore fare. It's not uh, It's not a hitman. <laughs> Nearly got caught there, but managed to sneak through. And yeah, can I uh, ring this bell, or do I... In some other way, need to get um, through this trap door. I think there was a context-sensitive button, but it's... Yeah, you have to be standing right on the edge of it. That's a slightly dodgy uh, bit of control scheme there. Lovely view from the top, though, over that trestle bridge. Can I put on a robe and pretend I'm a tiny dwarf monk? I don't think I can. They've got a little uh, doll of themselves here, that's rather sweet. Can I sneak through these curtains? Or do I just have to sort of dodge around? Ah, I can hide with X, got it. So I guess the objective is to go and hide in that next set of curtains uh, and then let the guy pass and then sneak around him that way. There we go. Curiously unobservant, these monks. I imagine that the enemies uh, further down the game are going to get a bit uh, more astute, shall we say. Ah, so he checks the middle rung of curtains. Got it. But he's checked them on the way up, so he doesn't check them on the way back. Okay, that's, uh, that's handy to know. Uh-oh, I've been spotted. Presumably I can't stop being spotted by hiding... Oh, apparently I can. Oh dear. Okay, need to be a bit more careful on that layer then. So while he's in conversation, I need to sneak down this ladder. Got it. Then that guy is dusting down the curtains. So if I wait until he's doing that and the other guy is putting the bed linen away, I can sneak around the... No, no, can't quite sneak around the back. I presume I'm safe while I'm standing in the uh, blue sparkly areas. <laughs> Nearly got caught there, but seemed to have got away with it. Uh, not sure at all how I get past this next bit. Okay, rolling out the red carpet for some sort of magical elder. Yeah, there seems to be some kind of religious order, although that doesn't appear to be very Christian. Drop a quick save here. And... If I'm careful, I can wait till that guy's turned away and sort of sneak around these beds. There we go. And out the front door, now over to this safe point. Again, these guys are curiously unobservant. Stick to the shadows, and I think we should be all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kind of got a handle on this guy's path now, though, so... Hopefully I can sneak around the back. No, apparently not. But I do know where I need to go now. It's that uh, blue corridor down the end. Okay, so wait here. Wait till the guy in the white beard turns around. And through we go. I don't know what a balneary is, although from the fact that dirty clothes are getting set down here, I presume it's a laundry room. Oh, it seems to be like a like a bathroom. There's a there's a cupboard full of you know cosmetics and so on. What's in the chest? Stones. Throw stones to distract opponents. Okay. That makes sense. I wonder what the controls for this are like. Um, oh, a bit short range, if I'm honest. I could just beam him on the head, but I don't think that's uh, quite a good idea. So he's head down here. 
throw a stone over here, and that does nothing to distract him. Oh, but that does. Okay, and I've got an achievement for distracting three opponents with one stone. Not bad going. Anything to be gained from getting this guy out of the way. Okay, next up we've got these lads. Aha, I managed to escape him because they apparently can't climb down ladders. Oh, no, that didn't work. Okay, possibly need to rethink. Trying a different route now. Okay, so there's other kids who work down here. These are like the orphan children who we are some kind of slave. Oh, we can speak to them. Motivate children to strengthen their will and to sometimes receive small gifts for your quest. Oh, okay. I've inspired a child. I've done a good deed for the day. And that gives me some kind of bird control, I think. There was another child uh, along the other way who was helping out with the laundry, I believe, on the upper level. So I might head up there and see if I can inspire him to. If I can get past him, that is. Stones being very handy for getting these guys out of the way, it seems. Okay, so there's the second child doing some scrubbing over there. If I can distract this monk, get him to go past, sneak round behind him, and then we can do some inspiration. Ah, except... Yes, apparently you're still vulnerable to being caught while you're doing some inspiring. Okay, well, I, I hope he still counts as inspired. Okay, that guy won't seem to move in order to pursue the uh, stone. It's a bit of a problem. Oh no, there he goes, there he goes. Quickly sneak by. And I've got some more of them over here. Can I crouch along here? Can't throw stones while crouching. That's interesting to know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Okay, that didn't work. I can just go around the back of this guy. Wait till his buddy turns around with the laundry. And there we go. I made that harder for myself than I needed to. Although this does only get me to the point where the uh, original inspired kid was. Oh, I can hide in the laundry basket. Okay, that's useful, potentially. But ultimately what I need to do is get down to the lower level. And I don't know if I can get through that door. Doesn't look like it. But I don't seem to have many other options. Ah, there's a rock face there which appears to I can... It's like rough stones, so maybe I can climb down that. Okay, snuck over there while the guy is... Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, I found the right thing to do, even if I got caught while clambering over to do it. I should have more clearance this time, so I can get down there without him catching me. It was a, a rough way of doing it, but it worked. Okay, found a save point. Um, can I distract that guard out of those stairs? There's a third kid that needs inspiring as well. I assume it's going to be down these steps. Yeah, I think I can see the top of their head in the bottom there. There we go. Yeah, it's a little girl. Okay, can I distract you? Uh-oh. No, I can't. I can't wait for you to go past. Uh... I think I just threw a rock straight at him there, which is possibly not the best way of distracting him. Ah, uh, okay. You go straight down to these sacks, and if I'm quick... And use the crouch... There we go. So let's go inspire her. Ah, it seems to have considered the uh, the third kid not inspired because I got caught while doing it. Okay, well I might have to clamber back up and do that then. Okay, after a lot more effort than I expected, that's uh, we're back on that platform and we, if we can get this monk out of the way, we should be able to sneak over here and inspire the final child. There we go, all children inspired. I don't know whether that still counts. No, apparently if you get caught, it does uh, reset your counter. So I need to go up there, inspire him, and somehow not get caught in the process. Okay, so I think what I need to do here is use a stone to distract the guy. Get him out of the way. While he's distracted, go and hide in the pot. And then once he's back at his seat, I'll be out of his vision cone and I'll be able to go inspire the child without arousing suspicion. There we go, and that's all three. And I don't know what I get for that, but apparently it's a good thing to do. Now I need to get him out of the way for another time so I can get over to the uh, ladder. Yeah, he's still... Uh... Okay, happily, now that I've inspired that child successfully, the vision cone, the uh, reset point has uh, been moved, so I no longer need to go through that rigmarole again. But if I can get him over there, I should be able to get down this uh, ladder successfully. Hide in the laundry here. 
Wait till Brother Bear Stash gets out of the way, and then I should be able to quickly run and clamber down this wall. Okay, and now should be a relatively simple process to get out of here. I just need to uh, get around these final two guys. Once uh, Monk A goes down the stairs, I can sneak around the back here, and before he can get to me, hop down this trapdoor. Okay, down into the kitchen. Um, this uh, facility is really quite huge and full of flies, which is delicious. Ah, so we're introduced to pushing and pulling mechanics. Okay, so we can move some cover around with us. Okay. Or it's just push and pull puzzles in your standard uh, adventure game style, I suppose. Okay, stick to the shadows. And figure out these guys' routines. There we go. We should... Me all good. No need for stones. Just good old-fashioned sneaking. Okay. Who's up next? The vision cones aren't exactly uh, wide in scope. So if you're good, like I am. Well, I'm not really, but I am in this uh, very early level. You can sneak around like so. Now, that guy over there does not appear to be changing his vision cone, which is a problem because it means I'm going to need to use a rock to get him out of the way. There's possibly some opportunity to move him around a little bit, but he will always return to his original position. So I need to get him over that way, I think. I try not to actually hit him with the rock. That seems to be counterproductive. There we go. So keeping an eye on bird view. Yeah, not enough movement in the vision cones. Ah, I've been spotted. Okay. Not by the one I had my eye on. Okay. Ah, there's a... Okay, there's a, sh there's a shortcut here. There's a uh, box I can push and pull. So I don't need to use rocks after all. I should just be able to shove this out of the way and sneak around behind guy number one. Oh, okay. That makes noise. Gotta remember that. There we go. And neatly down the stairs. Now, that guy turns... Giving me an opening to sneak into this... Aha! That gives me an opening to sneak into that cabinet there. Okay. Oh, gotta be careful. The contextual hide command comes up erratically. It's not always as straightforward as you'd want it to be, which is a bit of a problem. Because uh, it means that... Sometimes you'll get caught when you really should have been in a hiding spot. Okay, there we go. That's the kitchen completed. Down to the refectory, the dining room. With a rather lovely bit of uh, cactus art on the wall. You know, this doesn't seem like such a bad place to live. The monks might be kind of strict and they're not your mum, but, you know, they seem to be taking relatively good care of the kids. Okay, there's a picture of the Elder on the wall and whatever icon of this weird religious order this is. A couple of statues there. Um, hmm. Don't seem to be being caught for now. I'll just have a little quick look in birdie vision. Okay, looks like I need to get out that door at the bottom. Sneak around this guy's vision cone. And check in with the checkpoint here. Okay, there's a child up there that needs inspiring. Oh dear, I managed to get caught there. Nearly got round him, but... That second guy, yeah, the guy with the bricks isn't so bad. Um, he doesn't have a very wide range, and uh, there's a couple of hiding spots near, right nearby him. But the second guy, a bit more tricky. Especially when you're trying to avoid the first guy's vision cone at the same time. Right, so that's nice and easy. If I just follow him directly, that might be the easiest way to do it. Yeah, just sneak around the back of him. And uh, as he rotates around, we can sneak up that ladder and sh should be able to inspire kiddo number one. There we go. Okay, there's one more left to get in this level. Better than three the last time we uh, did something like this. 
Presumably can't just jump over that wall. Presumably that's just broken down for visual effects to let me see into the next room. Okay, nice and easy. Sneak inside there, grab the checkpoint, and we're on our way. Need to figure out where uh, kiddo number two is. Ah, he's over there with the uh, cooking pot. Okay. So we need to, without getting spotted, shift this out of the way. Maybe hide over here. Yeah, behind this table. Hmm, getting past this guy is going to be difficult. Might be a case for some rocks. Yep, I'll prepare one. We can chuck that over there. Sneak around while he's investigating and inspire kid number two. Balancing the soup ladle. Clearly the most entertaining jape of the season. Well done, El Hijo. That's going to get you a sound thrashing by the monks. Ah, managed to get caught there. Not ideal. But I respawned back at kid number two, so... Could be worse. Just need to get a rock well placed to get uh, this guy out of the way when he comes back for his next pass. Oh, bugger. I screwed that up. The aiming on the rocks is not great. It's the, the point of contention I have with this game's controls, mainly. Um, it is quite hard to land them correctly. I wonder if there's a a better system or whether this was just uh, designed in a bit of a rush. Okay, so that's the ultimate guardian monk of ultimate destiny. So if I can get him out of the way, sneak past behind the elder and strangle her with the fiber wire. Oh wait, wrong game. Okay, oh, oh dear. Oh no, okay, yeah. Be a bit careful with that bloke. So he seems to stop there, but then can I... No, I can't. I don't know how I get past that guy, actually. I wonder if there's a way to draw him inside with a rock. Hmm, they don't recharge quickly enough to try it multiple times. Again, in a sane world, I could just shove him off the edge. Although that wouldn't necessarily be very sane. Okay, so he's in range. Okay, don't seem to be able to distract this guy with rocks. That is interesting and disturbing. Oh, there's a, there's a rock wall there I can climb down. Got it. Okay, before he spots me. That wasn't very obvious, if I'm honest. Um, it just seems to be a temporary staging post, so there's nothing really down there. But uh, ultimately, yeah, I need to climb down this ladder, get the checkpoint, and then proceed onwards to the next bit of the stage. Particularly now I've rescued all the kiddos. Um, this shouldn't be too bad. This is amazing infrastructure for, like, late 19th century America, I must say. Ah, oh dear, got caught. Well, I can see the exit at least, so it's within sight. Wait till uh, the singing monk, the first, has rotated. With his big nose like the goons from the Popeye cannon. Nearly made it there. It's a difficult one to time, because those two are slightly out of sync, I think. Maybe if I get... I uh, can't quite get round him when he's putting those bricks down on the far end, so... Actually, they seem to have synced up there quite nicely, so I will take that, thanks very much. Straight up the ladder. And there, uh, around with no difficulty. Okay, I guess it's just a, ca a case of waiting. And through the door to the blue goal hole. I don't know how long it's going to take us to escape this uh, facility. We've gone down quite a few floors now, into the library. Can I get something out of that chest? It looks like a collectible sort of thing. No, uh, apparently not. Oh, I can push the ladder along. Okay. That's an interesting mechanic. Well, I guess it will, will make noise. Okay, so... Ah, I've got librarian monks. Quickly grab the checkpoint, not the ladder. Got screwed over by the UI there. I'm kind of screwed over by the physics there because I started grabbing onto the ladder when I wanted to go and get the checkpoint, but whatever. Very close shave there. Kid there needs inspiring, so that's easy enough to go and do. He doesn't seem to be guarded. Seems pretty inspired anyways, just watching stuff with the telescope. Excellent. Well done, El Hijo. You're uh, the saviour of the children. Can I hop down here? Doesn't look like it. Just a weird gap in the guardrails for some reason. Someone will, within a few months, have done a 100% all kids saved run of this with uh, with no rocks, and uh, I'll look like a complete chump. But this is actually quite hard uh, as someone who doesn't do a lot of um, stealth gaming. I've played Hitman. I played the Paris level. Of the, of the of the remake and uh, or the well the new the new version of Hitman whatever you want to call it and uh, my god that was difficult okay and presumably I need to go up this ladder 
Although there's a thing at the top. I don't know if I can push that out of the way. Ah. Yeah, okay. I see. I'm going to have to get up there another way and then push that out of the way, I think. I think it's this corridor that's going to be the thing. I need to get that monk out of the way, then push the obstacle out of the way, then go inspire Kitty Wink. Yeah, I need to... Ins if I go hide in the corner, use a rock to distract him, then sneak through. Ah, but then I've got to go inspire him without, in some way, alerting the teacher. That's going to be a difficult one. Still, ladder's available now. What's the teacher's actual vision cone? Oh, okay, the teacher's so engaged in his teaching that uh, as distracting this child from his important education that will let him make his way in the world, despite the disadvantages of being an orphan, um, is made relatively easy. Um, can't help but thinking that El Hijo might be partly the villain here. Okay, there's a ladder down here, so that implies that this is important for some reason, but I can't quite figure what that is, because there doesn't... Oh, there's a little rock wall. Uh, hold on, let me have a little look on bird vision. Because there's more guards down there, but if there's a secret down here, then... Uh, I might want to go and get it, particularly if it's a child-shaped secret. Ah, yes, indeed. Okay, so, uh, that ladder isn't going away yet, but if I can push it along... Okay, where do you stop? Oh, okay, I think I can climb the ladder... What, and then sort of hide at the top of it while he's passing beneath and then push the ladder along further. Let's give that a try. He's so engrossed in the book that he's not going to look up, so I think that's probably wise. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. In a bad spot here. Got to wait for his attention meter to tick down. Shouldn't have tried to move the ladder further in retrospect. I can get up here to the next level. I wonder if I can use bird vision to just quickly scout out. I don't think there's any other kids up there. Yeah, no, I think we're fine. So I'll sneak past once he's uh, gives me a window. Uh, come on, there we go. Got ourselves a bit of room. Oh, very much in the light there. Got to be a bit careful. I need to get to that checkpoint quite urgently. Right, and what's up this ladder? Some kind of barred exit. Okay, that doesn't really help me. And same deal here. We've got to push the ladder along. That'll let us use it as a hiding point if we want to sneak past. Aha! And here we go. Here's the third kid. Yeah, I don't think I can easily sleep, easily sneak past this guy. I'm going to have to go back uh, the way I came. We go slip down this ladder. Um, see if I can get past this guy. Just about managed it. But the amount of light is going to make this difficult. I think what I need to do is get behind that second bank of drawers over there. Go into crouch mode. And there we go. Just about managed to evade his vision cone. Now when Captain Book goes past, we should have a fairly clear run. There we go. It must be near the end now. I've rescued all the kids. There's not that much else to do. This is a huge library. There we go, there's the exit point. So hopefully not too much more to sneak past. Ah, stairs are broken, so I need to go past down the rock wall. But it's very well lit and there's patrolling guards, so one assumes this balancing beam will be a helpful way to uh, help me accomplish my goal. Okay, so we're nearly there. Got to get this box out of the way at a point where it's not going to alert the guards. Now seems to be a good time. No need to... Find a, find a time to slip past where they're not looking. Which will probably mean following this guy round. Okay, now's as good a time as any. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Nearly made it. I think I was a bit hasty. Okay, but... Uh, the right basic approach, I think. Maybe now? If I'm just lucky and brave? There we go. Yet more of the uh, monk hideout to go, though, down into the sanctuary. Must be nearing the end now. I don't think there's any risk to beam sneaking. It's just a visual effect. But uh, I'd like it if there was some kind of balance mechanic, maybe. It shouldn't, in theory, be too hard. Just got to get their timings right. Right. 
over to checkpoint number two. Ah, they've got some kind of uh, quite elaborate pipe organ here. That's uh, an impressive um, development for a uh, monastery in the desert. I wonder if I can move this without alerting him. The, the noise cone is quite sensitive, I think. Just got to inch it along very gradually. There we go. Now we should be able to get past him on the next go round. Right, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And presumably we have to shift these boxes in such a way as allows me access down the line, but that's quite difficult to sort of work out. Um, yeah, if I shift that there, then move the ladder to the middle, shove this box out of the way, pull this box a bit, and that should let me past. Ah, not quite. Hmm, okay. Ah, no, I think I've got it. Uh, I make a bigger gap between the two boxes, pull this ladder this way. Then I can pull this box, climb back down the ladder, and that should give me enough leeway to get by. Ah, nearly. The, uh... Yeah, again, the edges of the physics objects are not wonderfully clear in this game, so there, sh there is ample room for the ladder, but for some reason the game won't let me push it there. Right, that ought to be enough. There we go, just about. There we go, over to the checkpoint. Okay, so this guy doesn't seem to be too hard to sneak past because he's not changing his vision at all. And then... Hopefully that guy's so absorbed with his organ playing that he won't notice the pitter-patter of little uh, escaping footsteps going past. So I can presumably sneak past this side staircase. Um... Yeah, it does seem to be a way through, uh, although I'm curious to explore every avenue because I want to make sure I get all the kids. This does seem to be more like the main way because it's where more of the monks are. Aha! So, yes, several of the kids, actually, plus the elder, doing some kind of unpleasant ritual, praying. So I assume I can inspire that kid? I mean, it's a kid in the level, so I don't see a reason I shouldn't be able to. This is a hard sneaking bit. Ah, I thought I'd be out of the vision cone there. Evidently, I wasn't. Okay, in sneaking position number one. Ah, and got immediately caught. Okay, I'm beginning to think this might not be the best way to go. Particularly as sneaking through this main area seems comparatively easy. If I can get that guy out of the way with a rock. Which apparently I can't. Okay, none of this is particularly easy. <laughs> Maybe I can sprint past. Okay, yeah, well, there's child number one in the little uh, confession cloister there, or whatever that's called. Okay, well, that has got that guy out of the way. Yeah, if El Hiko could run more than about 10 feet, that would, uh, that would have worked, but I think the side path plus rocks is probably the way through. Okay, I got lucky there. I managed to disrupt the routine and just about sneak by their vision cones. Can I inspire this little indoctrinated kid? Yes, I can. But if I can get that box out of the way, I should be able to climb up and get the other one. Well, be swift. Should do the job. Okay, and there we go. Ladder physics playing nice for once. There we go, flying by the seat of my pants a bit, but here's kid number two. There we go, and that's all of them for this level. Um, doing more good deeds, and seem to be approaching the end of this now, I think. There we go, swiftly dealt a uh, blow to these guys, and got past there. Oh, is this the outside? Well, I mean, it's still in the facility, but it's like outdoors again. Okay, great. We seem to be down to nearly ground level. The cloister. Okay, we've got a wind-up toy. Hmm, okay. Draws the attention of all opponents nearby. Presumably, that's like a, a, a choo-choo. We can set that in a particular direction. Or we release it and it marches in a particular way. Not sure. I'll see what I can, uh, see what I can do with it. There we go. Oh, 
What? Why did that lead to me getting caught? Oh, that was mean. And I got caught anyway. Oh, oh dear. Quite a good idea for a uh, bit of equipment, though. Well, if he's preoccupied with smashing that, he won't... Ah. It doesn't get him quite far enough out of the way. I need to aim it sort of over further, further towards the wall. Like over here. That should do the job. Now, while he's busy smashing that, I can get by. I don't know if there's many kids in this level. If we're into some kind of maze, that's probably a good sign that... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's a kid there. I can't get to her quite yet. Looks like she's got some other equipment there as well. That might be more of the uh, soldiers. Okay, so this is a dead end. Save point here. It can push this planter out of the way. That opens up level two. We can hide in these pots, got to remember. And how many kids are there in this level? Four. Okay, so it's quite a big one. There's at least one in the centre of the maze. I presume if I push this planter, it'll just block block off my access to this uh, part of the. Yeah, I can't get any, I can't get around it. Hmm. Okay, that's what to think about. Because presumably I'm going to have to get past this guy. Ah oh dear, that's a dead end. So yeah, that's me monked. Hmm. Okay, got to think of another way through then. Um, oh, possibly just be more careful. Yeah, I think it's just a case of patience. Got to wait for the guy to go past. All right, there we go. Ah, this is the dead end. I forgot about that. Okay, now he's going back around. If I sneak around behind him. And we can head over here. That should do the trick. Ah, I think I know what I was meant to do here. And I've completely screwed it up. Um... I was meant to move this over here, and then go and do that route so I could get down the other branching path. Okay, that's been done, um, and now more of the maze is, is accessible. Although, there is this guy to get round, who is um, possibly an obstacle. I think the pot might come in handy here. There we go, nicely done. Now, that plant is going to present another puzzle, isn't it? I'm going to need to figure out how to uh, get around that. Possibly, I need to... Yes, if I wait for that guy to go around again, I can pull it out here. And then I've got the run of this place. Got another child there who needs to be uh, not scared. Oh, these chickens. I know they make noise from the intro. Like so. So I don't want to scare them too much when the monks are in the vicinity. Now this needs to be pulled out of the way. And then, if I'm careful with my timing, I can head up there and get whatever's in that chest. Uh-oh. Okay, yes. Reminder not to scare the chickens. Okay, chest is accessible. Not sure what's in there. Presumably more toy soldiers. Yep, thought so. Although, if, I feel like you don't necessarily need to rely on the gadgets too much. The rocks are quite useful, but um, yeah, the, soy, the so, toy soldiers are kind of the same thing, just uh, slightly more effective. Okay, into that pot, let the guy pass, then I can loop around. Right, nearly at the centre of the maze now. Just need to figure out a way past this guy, which I think is going to involve that pot up there. Yep, nice and easy. And uh, there we go. Straight past him. Into the centre here, and hopefully we can access that kid and uh, do some inspiration. This might require the use of the uh, toy soldiers. I don't know how big this guy's vision cone is. Yep, yeah, it's quite large. Pop in there. And bugger, he's managed to see us. Okay. Well, at least there's a save point right there. So what's his vision cone? It's right on the edge there. So I can stand here and I'm safe. And then deploy a... Toy soldier in this direction. Oh, I can't make him sort of get out of the way, but I can if he stamps on it and then returns to his... Oh, he saw me in the process. Okay. Need to make sure I'm clear by the time the uh, toy soldier gets going. There we go. Once he's returning to his bench, I should be able to slip by. There we go. Just like clockwork, like that toy soldier no longer is. Okay, so that's one of the four children done. Progress is being made. Now I need to get out of here, which is um, less than optimal. But I can just sort of sneak around him like that, which does work. 
Even if it's not exactly the way I'm supposed to do it. Uh oh. Okay, not getting around that monk too easily. But shouldn't be uh, impossible. Okay, now we should be home free to get out of this end of the maze. With one of the four kids uh, dealt with. Bloody chickens. They're going to be the death of me, literally. Uh oh. Ah! Managed to <laughs> kind of fluke that one, but it worked. Okay, into the pots. Wait till there's an opening. Which there is now. Ah! Nearly there. Okay. Maybe need to be a bit more careful this time, particularly with regards to the chickens. Okay, that guy's looking over there. Now he's turned around. Can I rock his world? Looks like I can. Ah, oh, no, he's singing, so I can't get him on that basis. The uh, toy might be able to uh, distract him. Yeah, because it's visual. Got it. Okay, just quickly slip by there. Into the pot. Ah, I got caught by the other guy. Well, I nearly managed it. Hmm... There's a kid over in that corner as well. Maybe I'll go get him first. Forgot to be in hide mode. That was a bit of a mistake. Okay, nice easy sneaking session there as the bishop enjoys some kind of serenade. Two more to go. If I can follow behind the guy spreading the chicken feed, that should do the job. The chickens seem remarkably unbothered by the feed, I should say. Okay, quick slip over here. Unleash the toys. March of the minis so that uh, he can get distracted by stamping them out. That was... Yeah, that activated him closer to me than I was hoping, frankly. But, you know, does uh, give me, I guess, an opening? I need to do it when he's turned away, I think. This is my last one, so this is a bit of work. There we go. Quickly slip by into the pot. Okay, this should be a good opening. There we go, up the ladder, and there we go, kid number three. There you are, little girl, have some rocks. And I'll have whatever's in this chest, thank you very much. Oh, loads of toys. Only three of them, but, you know, every little helps. Right, now I need to get out of here, which is uh, a job in itself. Stupid chickens, get out of my way. Okay, so that's three kids. Then we got this uh, maze of barrels going on here. This is going to be a tricky one, I think, because this guy's vision doesn't seem to be uh, doing much movement. If I can rock him out of the way... Ah, it's the, the, the rock sound seems to be affected by the surface it's landing on, so it doesn't make as much noise on the, uh, on the grass. That's, that's actually quite a good mechanic. It does get him out of the way temporarily, so I can hide behind these crates. There we go. Now I think that's the level exit there, so I'll need to push that crate out of the way in order to get to him. But I reckon there'll be more down this way. So there might be cause for a toy. There we go, quickly slip by. Now I should be free. Yep, yeah, there we go. Here's the kid looking after the gunpowder, playing with matches. That gardener there does not appear to be um, dressed in the same monk outfit that the rest of them are. But we're going to pour water on him anyway because we... Uh... Oh, he's one of the bandits that killed my mum. And there's her bones that he's burying in the desert. Bleak. Okay, and we've got a chest over here containing some more stuff. I think it's just more toys, but uh, whatever. Well, I've got all the kids, so I'm going to head out of the level now. Just make sure I don't get caught on the way. In fact, actually, getting out of here might be a bit of a tricky one. I could possibly do it with a toy. Ah, no, of course on the way. Okay, not ideal. Might have to go the other way then, past that uh, crate on the other side. Yep, seems like how from how that's arranged, that can only be open from this side, so I was on the right track. Ah, now I do need to go through the whole maze again. That's not ideal. Okay, I'll join you when I've done that. Going through this a second time is dead easy, and now we just need to head over to the right, past the um, barrel guy. Make sure we don't get seen by that monk on the way. Uh-oh. Okay, I screwed that up. <laughs> Gotta be cautious of the vision cones here. 
But I think that guy's okay. I can get around him here and chuck a rock, as I did before. Uh, there we go. That lets me sneak around him. Nearly there. Out of vision range. Push this thing aside. Maybe hide around here for a second. And through I go. Right, and there we go. We are out. Or, I hope we're out anyway. There might be some kind of basement level. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so we found, I think, where our mum is being kept, and they seem to be building up some kind of explosive rig to destroy the whole mountain? Is our mum some kind of... Uh... Oh, we're playing as the mother now. Well, this seems a good place to end. We might pick this up again, because I'd like to see more of this game. I think it's, it's a really fascinating aesthetic. I really love the isometric stuff. The gameplay is um, quite basic, but has a certain um, appeal to it. There's... It's appealing in its simplicity. It's not like Hitman when you get overloaded with options and it's kind of can be a bit paralyzing in how to proceed. There's usually sort of one or two ways through, but you can be a bit inventive within that, which I quite like. Um, so, yeah, El Hijo is uh, yeah definitely worth a look. I think it's eighteen pounds on Steam at the moment, which is a little steep. I might put it more around the twelve or thirteen mark. But if you've got the money to spare and you want a little nice stealth game, especially if you're not someone who is into stealth games like I'm not, um, it does it really well and it's quite user friendly for a newbie. So I think absolutely worth uh, absolutely worth playing. And uh, I will hopefully feature some more of this in the future. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.